Welcome to the cringiest hairdressers in the world. Okay, is it okay if I touch you? Yeah? Okay, cool. And what are your pronouns? They, them. She, they. I'm Ex glad we exchanged those. Yes. Oh, cringe. And what were your pronouns? Uh, she, they. She, they, too. Yay! Look at us, we're twins. Infernal cringe. And what are your pronouns? He, him. She, her. Thank you for asking. Weaponized cringe. What are your pronouns? She, her. Same. And within seconds, by forcing you to undergo this pointless performative pronoun stun, the self-styled most inclusive hair salon in America has run you through a gender politics thought crime purity check. What are your pronouns? They, them. What would happen if you refused to participate? I think we'd find out they're not so inclusive after all. Okay, I'm glad that you came in today to give me the opportunity to talk about what it's like. <sighs> just cut the fucking hair, woman. My entire social battery would have been depleted by the first two questions, would have just gotten up and gone home. It's the only hair salon in the world that makes sure to respect your bodily autonomy. Okay, is it okay if I touch you? Yeah. If I touch you. Mm -hmm. Is it cool if I touch you? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, how else are you going to cut and style someone's hair without touching them? Telekinesis. If I touch you. Go right ahead. Right, I've made an appointment at the hairdressers. I've just sat down in front of you in the barber's chair. Do I want you to touch my hair? Yes, obviously yes. Is it okay if I touch you? What happens if they them says no? I cut hair, I've never asked if I could touch their hair. Like, why are you here then if I can't? Also, what were your pronouns again? She, they. Okay, so different to what they were yesterday then. She, her. Same. She, her. Stay tuned for what they're gonna be tomorrow. She, they. She, her. She, they. She, her. But this hair salon doesn't discriminate, so long as you're one of LGBT or Q. Okay, Tyler here. What are your pronouns? He, yeah. him. Perfect. Okay. What would you like to do with your hair today? Kind of something along the lines of like a pre-gay mullet? Hell yes! Okay, cool! What the fuck is a pre-gay mullet? And is it homophobic? Pre-gay mullet? Come to think of it, what the fuck is a post-gay mullet? Answers on a postcard! Apparently this is a pre-gay mullet! Yes, yes, yes! Yeah, that's not gay at all, mate. And speaking of gender bending, let's talk about the relentless attack on masculinity and the feminization of men. Truth is, weak and feminized men are more easily controlled, making society more vulnerable to manipulation and tyranny. We're bombarded with estrogenic chemicals from plastics, junk food, and a sedentary lifestyle. The media loves to demonize heterosexual masculine men, labeling them toxic. But testosterone levels have been declining for decades. With a 17% drop among 60 year olds in 2004, compared to 1987. Sperm count and strength in men are also decreasing exponentially, with a 32.5% decrease in mean sperm concentration in the last 50 years. Researchers call these changes alarming from an evolutionary point of view. But hold up, there's a solution. The Black Forest Testo Stack is the ultimate testosterone supplement stack. Combining the power of Turkesterone, Cistanche, and Tonka Ali to help boost your testosterone levels and reverse the effects of feminization. Turkesterone is a natural anabolic compound that supports muscle growth, improves endurance and boosts testosterone levels. Cistanche is a herb known to enhance sexual function and improve overall vitality. You know Genghis Khan, the infamous conqueror? Well he used Cistanche to boost his virility and maintain his sexual prowess. And last but not least, Tonka Ali is a potent herb that has been used for centuries to increase testosterone levels, improve libido and reduce stress levels. As a Black Forest Testo Stack user, I can personally vouch for its effectiveness. I've noticed a significant difference in my energy levels. Strength and overall well-being. And the best part is you can try the Black Forest Testo stack with a 40% discount already applied at the website. Black Forest Supplements is a brand dedicated to bringing back traditional masculinity and femininity. Don't let anyone tell you that being strong and confident is a bad thing. And by supporting my sponsors, you support me directly. But hurry and take advantage of the 40% discount via the link in the description box below because it won't be around for long. But the proud lesbian girl boss owner adeptly slapped back at her critics with this. Ooh, that was some delectable cringe, wasn't it? Let's enjoy it once more. Genuinely asking, how does she, they work? When people say he, him, or she, her, they're given the subject and object forms. But she, they are both subjects. When do they want you to call them which? And how do you know which object to use? My dude, don't try to find any logic in this. She, they. She, her. She, they. She, her. Although it's triumphed as an inclusive safe space for everyone. Jordan Palmer and Alex Bauer of J Palm Hairdressing have created a safe space in their salon. Apparently the owner has a problem with pretty blonde girls who don't look like like this. You know, there's pretty blonde girls everywhere and there's mirrors plastered on the walls and you do the walk of shame to the 
you know, whatever, whatever station your hairdresser is at. Can you imagine being a trans person? Doubt many pretty blonde girls are going to be that interested in going there anyway. Unless they want to walk out looking like this. No, this is a very specific clientele. The all ambiguous Q in LGBTQIA. Now, the word queer can mean a straight man who wants some attention. <laughs> I'm all queer, I'm all queer now. I am? Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm right queer now. I am. I am? Uh, yeah. What about your girlfriend? Yeah, she's queer and all. There's an insightful Google review of this place, which isn't a troll going off the back of recent attention because it's two years old. I do not recommend J. Palm hairdressing. Jordan Palmer, the owner, made derogatory comments about my husband to my child while cutting their hair. Jordan's comments about my husband's hairstyle, age, energy, and her refusal to give him the Wi-Fi password while he was waiting were extremely rude and inappropriate. The fact that Jordan said all this to my child is beyond unprofessional and just bananas. Wow, seems the most inclusive hair salon in America is not so inclusive towards straight male fathers with masculine energy. Who could have seen that one coming? 3,500 years ago. They also proudly showcase customers who advocate wives divorcing their Republican husbands. So inclusive, they just excluded half of America. j Palm celebrates their clients and who they are. So inclusive. Tell you what, walk in there wearing a MAGA hat and see just how inclusive they are. You'll walk out looking like this. If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the Locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website, modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news. <laughs> Thank you.